My name is Mike Congrove. I'm majority owner of Oyster Seed Holdings. We are a shellfish hatchery company, and what we do is take adult oysters, spawn them, grow them through their complex life cycle until they're a little bit bigger and therefore more easily handled by oyster farmers. What we need to be able to do that are brood stock or adult oysters, oyster food, which is algae that we grow here on site for them, and then the oyster larvae that we make the baby oysters from. Out in the river, oysters really only spawn from about the beginning of June through the end of August. But here in the hatchery, we want to be spawning oysters from the beginning of January through the end of August. And so we have a brood stock room where we put our adult oysters and we can trick them into thinking it's a different season than it actually is. And so we bring those oysters into the brood stock room, put them in tanks, adjust the water so when they're in, in the brood stock room in November and December, they actually think that it's May or June and they're getting ready to spawn. And that way that we can have oysters that are ready to spawn come January. In the hatchery we have large vessels of bubbling colored fluids which are microalgae. We grow those plants, millions and, and really trillions a day that we can then feed to the animals. We feed those to broodstock and we also feed them to the subsequent larvae and, and post-set oysters that come later in the process. So we have a broodstock that's ready to spawn. We have our feed that we feed our, our baby oysters and now, now it's time to make those baby oysters. And so what we'll do is take our, our brood stock that are ready to spawn, bring them out onto the main floor and spawn them. We collect the eggs, fertilize those eggs, and put them into big tanks, big 4,500 liter tanks that sit out on the main production floor. The embryos develop into oyster larvae and those oyster larvae start to swim around in the water and consume algae that we put in that water for them. That process goes on like that for about two weeks. Every other day we drain the larvae down, we collect them on screens so that we can inspect them, make sure that they're eating well, make sure that they're healthy, clean the tanks that they've been in, refill those tanks with seawater, put the larvae back in the tanks, and feed them more feed. Oysters have this two-part life cycle where they have a larval phase first and an adult phase second. They're a free-swimming larval oyster for the first two weeks of their life, and then they'll swim down to the bottom, find some substrate to attach to. Once that larval shell is glued in place, They'll go through metamorphosis where they lose the ability to swim, they rotate their internal organs 180 degrees and, and really maximize the size of the gill. Once we get them through that metamorphosis process out on the production floor, we basically have what you would normally think of as an oyster, they're just really, really small. And so we put them into some other systems to grow them increasingly bigger until they're more easily handled by farmers. We have oyster farmer customers that, that range from Rhode Island down to Florida, and we can pack the seed onto a screen and wrap them in wet paper towels and put them in a shipping container and send them overnight on UPS or FedEx truck, or people will come to the hatchery and pick that seed up. In a nutshell, that, that's what we do in the hatchery. That's how we take adult oysters, grow them through their two-part life cycle, and then get them into the hands of farmers so that they can then grow them out, you know, and get them onto the dinner table, waterside picnic table, or whatever it might be for us to enjoy later.